What's up, boys? Gather around on the mat over here. The flyweight division is one of the most exciting divisions in the sport. These guys are fast, skilled, well-rounded, and they put on some of the best fights in the UFC. So for the first time ever, we're doing a whole season of The Ultimate Fighter with 125 pounders. The winner will get a title shot against the pound-for-pound -pound best fighter in the world, UFC flyweight champion Demetrius Johnson. I am beyond pumped for this season. For the first time ever, today, we have the baddest 125 pounders in the world right here. Every one of you, a world champion in your own organization. This is undoubtedly the coolest season of The Ultimate Fighter ever. I love the fact that we have elite world champions coming in to fight in a 125 pound tournament to see who will face the pound for pound best fighter in the world, Demetrius Johnson. Sakuraba is tripping me out over here, man. <laughs> Holy <laughs> You look like Sakuraba. <laughs> All right, guys. Your coaches have evaluated you, and now we're going to pick teams. The way it's going to work is I'm going to flip this coin. Whoever wins gets to pick the first fighter, OK? Boom, last minute jump. Sweet. You win, you get to pick the first fighter. When he calls your name, you will come up here and you will stand right here and wait for your opponent to come square off with you. The way that this is gonna work, you guys have already been seated by our matchmakers. So you will fight according to your seed. So whoever he picks, his opponent will come up and square off with him. I will call out your name. Come over, Kai. Cobra Kai. We were the last guys, so I, you know, I have a little chip on my shoulder about it. You know, it does bug me because I want to be first every time. So Kai Car France is ranked number nine, and Terrence Mitchell is number eight. So normally the way that this show works is we bring in rising prospects. And when we bring them in, we try to find guys or girls who are mentally, physically, and emotionally tough enough to be in this business, tough enough to be in this sport. And I have such high expectations for this season because we're not dealing with prospects. We're dealing with badass world champions already. There's never gonna be a situation like this ever again in your career where you're away from your families, you're away from your camp, your original teammates, and all the other mind that go along in this, uh, in this tournament. You need something to eat, we'll get it for you. You need some special when you fight, you need a special whatever you need, we're here to help you and we will make that happen. This is your gym, that's your house, anything you need to make you comfortable, ready, or mentally prepared to go in there and kick ass, we will provide for you, all right? Yes, sir. Yes. Gentlemen, welcome to the Ultimate Fighter. The next fight is gonna be the number eight seed, Terrence Mitchell of Team Benavidez against the number nine seed, Kai Cara France of Team Cejudo. I woke up at 32, 34 and a half with all this one. Right on target, still good, still good. My first matchups against uh, Terrence, he's a nice guy, like we get along, but um, it's my time, sorry. I'm Kai Cutter France from Auckland, New Zealand, fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, champion of chaos, Perth, Australia. I started Jiu Jitsu when I was 10. My parents got me into it. I needed to boost my confidence. I was always a smaller guy, always used to get picked on, so definitely got my confidence up. Then got into more martial arts when I was about 15. Had my first pro fight when I was 17. At 18, got a scholarship at Tiger Muay Thai, Phuket, Thailand and I uh, had a one-way ticket, so I've never looked back. I've been based out of Thailand for three and a half years now. It's been 
one of the best things I've ever done. It's a dream island, so you can train all day, and then the beach is only about five minutes away on a scooter. So what are we doing here, Nat Walker? Uh, just chilling on the beach. Classic Phuket training style, just in between sessions. Solid effort. It's nice. Train, go to the beach, relax, get ready for the next session, and train again. What's not to love about that? People in Thailand are so welcoming and so nice and happy all the time. Uh, it's just a nice environment to be in and it always feels like a holiday. And of course, in Thailand, you gotta try some bugs. It's one of the local delicacies. Yum. Get their games, them games. <laughs> How is it? It's actually not too bad. <laughs> a bit crunchy. Yeah? It's a leg, I think. Yeah. To be honest, it's kind of, it's cliche, but it does taste like chicken. At our gym at Tigers, it's not just a team, it's it's more of a family. People definitely underestimate my skill set, uh, thinking I'm from Thailand just a stand-up fighter. But uh, more than that, this game, if you're not evolved and well-rounded, you'll never make it. You'll be exposed, so uh, I live, eat, breathe. This is what I do. 100% committed and sacrificed for this. Ty Cotter France is a guy who fought 19 times in 10 different countries. Just last year, he became the flyweight champion of Chaos Entertainment's Bragging Rights, which is a, a, a promotion in Australia. And he didn't just win the belt. He TKO'd his opponent in a minute and a half. If anyone in this competition has a chance to clip Demetrius Johnson, it's Kai. It's time to go. Yeah. Let's take your time. What well, I call is I call it tight chi learning. Boom. Stuff the head, tight waist. And I'll get your hips back. Yeah. Now on your toes and I'll kind of get into them with your hips. Yeah. Our preparation with Kai. We're really working a lot of good technical takedown wrestling defense, which is the biggest thing for him, because his stand-up is so good that the only place Terrence is going to want to go, he's going to want to take him down. That's going to be more realistic. What does that mean? It means I got I to gotta sit down, squat, take him down. Control his head. When you control his head, you control the whole body. Stylistically, I think it's a good matchup. He, he's a long rangey guy, so he's gonna try to use that, but I, I'm gonna be in and out, fight from the inside. Use my kickboxing, use my wrestling takedown defense. There's nothing new to me being the shorter fighter. My whole career, I've always been the shorter one. And uh, just see this fight going one way, and that's getting a finish. They don't call me Don't Blink for a reason. Kai's looking good. I mean, he's looking good, his body, but uh, his demeanor, like, I don't know Kai that well, but I, I feel like he's a little nervous. That's good for today. Yeah. That's good for today, huh? I don't know. Uh, I don't want to cl uh, like, cl uh, clutter your mind. It's okay to be nervous, but I think once, you, once it gets beyond nervous and you actually get scared, that's when there's an issue. This is yours. The first 10 seconds, relax. <coughs> feel it. So all of us are in the same boat, so we're all feeling the same thing. Um, a bit nervous, uh, a bit scared at the same time, but uh, it's whoever can handle themselves uh, and perform at their best. So just got to keep my eye on the prize, but uh, everything will fall into place. We'll be okay, man. We'll be all right, dude. So uh, well, let's get going, Kai. That's good for today, man. Thank you. I'm a little nervous <laughs> when it comes to his, his confidence.
welcome to the weighing. Next to the scale, Terrence Mitchell. Terrence versus Kai is a very, very interesting matchup. Kai has got really sharp Muay Thai, and Terrence is huge. He's he's super tall, he's super long, and I think that's Terrence's fight. I think he's gonna put the length on him and keep his distance. So I think Terrence wins that one for sure. 125 and a half pounds. Okay, Cara France. Kai's actually become a pretty good friend of mine. We've been training a lot together, and man, he's extremely talented, man. Great Muay Thai, a lot of fights experience. I see Kai using a lot of leg kicks, and that's not gonna go well for Terrence. I, I see Kai winning that fight. 126 pounds. Terrence versus Kai is an eight versus nine seed. So this should be a pretty even matchup, except for the fact that Terrence is really long, ha has a very huge reach advantage. The guy's 5'10", which is massive for a flyweight. Kai, on the other hand, is only five foot five, but he's got experience, and experience is huge in this game. Because he's training out of Thailand, his Muay Thai skills are world class. So uh, this, this should be a really exciting fight. After this first fight, they're gonna remember the name and they're gonna take notes. I'm not too sure what he thinks about me, but uh, hopefully he's not underestimating me. Well, I grew up watching the show. I knew one day eventually I'd be on the show. So to be on it now is surreal, but I know it was meant to be. I definitely feel that like I'm under the radar, which is a good thing. I don't want everyone to know what I'm capable of and Wow, how I finish fights. I want him to think I, all I do is Muay Thai. I'm glad they don't know about me, because they will soon. Kai turned it up. Kai, the, the shy boy, the nervous kid that I saw, man, you see him in the, in the locker room after he got done warming up, and his, his eyes, like, he's just ready to kill somebody. Dan White's gonna know your name in about 10 minutes. I never like to leave it in the judges' hands. Always go for the finish and always go for the knockout. So if you like knockouts, you can't, you can't miss my fights. Hey! Hopefully you don't underestimate me because I'm coming for that belt. It's been a long time coming, but now it's my time. We're in for a real fight. Don't blink. All right, gentlemen, this fight is two five-minute rounds. If at the end of the second round our judges declare it a draw, we'll go to a third round, which will be sudden victory. The winner of that round wins the fight. Terrence, you ready? Kai, ready? Fight's on. Fights on. Round one starts. Kai was extremely composed, got his angles. Watch that overhand. Over. Kai stuck him with the first shot, rattled him, and just ate him up from there. On paper, this seemed like this was going to be a really close fight, but the reality was the exact opposite. Kai came out and just overwhelmed Terrence. He landed. Big shots early, and then just went in for the finish. When Kai landed that overhand right, oh my god. It was just icing on the cake. I feel amazing. It's been a long time coming. 
I was, I'm glad I was able to perform at my best in front of Dana White, um, and I'm just where I'm supposed to be. Winner and moving on, Kai. Good job, kid. Great fight. This is the way to start the season. The 125-pound guys can't hit. They don't hit hard enough. They're not big enough. They're not this. They're not. Here we go. All these years of hard work and uh, finally get to show it in the big show. I'm just over the moon. I'm kind of speechless. It was actually my brother's birthday today, so I wanted to dedicate this fight to him and dedicate it to my, my teammate who passed away as well, Jamie, last year. I'm just going to enjoy the moment, but uh, come tomorrow back to business, back to training, uh, keep my eye on the prize. Me and Charlie, we've always been pretty mutual. Uh, we always talk, but um, today at training, something he just snapped and he said, I'll, I'll, knock, I'll knock you out too. Um, I knew right then and there, he wasn't joking either. I said, uh, I, I kind of looked at him, I looked second guess, I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, I'll knock you out. Kind of just, I just let it sit. Um, I didn't want to cause any drama. Um, so I, I waited till the end of practice to bring it up. Yeah, bring it in real quick. Good day today. Can I say something? I'm not trying to call anyone out, but like Charlie's saying to me, yo, I'll knock you out. And like, if you're coming at me like that, I don't know if you're joking or not, but it just like threw me off a little bit. I don't really know what, what it was, but I probably, he probably said something to take me off and I said, I want to knock you out. What's it, what, what is I it? What, what, what do you have against uh, your teammate? I was speaking my mind. Now he wants to cry like a little girl, like, People don't, you guys don't know me. No one knows me. I'm an animal. This is where I get my aggression out. Charlie's definitely been kind of that, everybody's kind of been like, this guy's kind of kind of strange. He does his own thing. He barks during practice. He's a strange duck, no doubt about that. Hey, I'm being real, like, yeah, I want to knock some up. I'm not here to like be on front of camera, drink in front of them, <laughs> laugh all night, party. I'm not here for that. I'm away from my loved ones. I'm away from my mom, my sister, my dad, my brother. This little kid comes in, talking like he's the man. Hell no, I'm the man. I'll lay you out. He's kind of crossing the line, um, calling me out like that. Of course, I take offense to it. I don't want to be associated with him. All right, guys, amazing first rounds of fights. Probably the best first round ever in tough history. We got great fights in the next round. Starting off, next fight, we got Pantoja. <laughs> versus Kai. Alexandre versus Kai should be a very good fight. Alexandre is the number one overall seed in the competition. But Kai knocked out Terrence Mitchell in 30 seconds. Stand up and Muay Thai are nasty. These guys are both from Team Cejudo, so that always makes things interesting. In his round one fight, Kai absolutely demolished Terrence. And even though Kai is a smaller guy with no reach whatsoever, he landed punch after punch. And finally, Terrence just dropped to the mat and Kai came away with the best knockout of the tournament so far. It was an absolutely impressive display of power. My favorite part of the day is conditioning. Ready? Three, two, one, go! I'm fighting Alexander Pantoja. He's my teammate. It's a little bit awkward at training because, like, today we had a circuit training and Pantoja's right next to me. It definitely adds to the motivation. You don't want to show any sign of weakness. So we're going at it. We're both trying to psych each other out. É difícil vir pro treino e não observar um, o, o, o que ele faz, mas isso realmente não faz bem. Tem que se desligar dessas coisas e focar no que você tem que fazer. E não focar no, no seu adversário, sim no, em você, na sua estratégia, no seu ponto. That's it, that's it. 
we build this unity, this family, now they gotta go out and try to put each other to sleep or knock each other out. But it's, it's MMA, man. Welcome to, uh, welcome to the, welcome to the life of an MMA fighter. Work, work, work. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna separate the coaches. I'm gonna ask Pantoja and Kai what they like in their corners. As for me, I'll be in the bench and let the best man win. <laughs> So I'm from New Zealand, I'm half Māori. That's the native people of New Zealand. Fighting has always been in our blood. Yeah, that, that warrior spirit has been in me since I, the day I was born. Uh, my mum told me a story that the umbilical cord was wrapped around my neck. My face was purple when uh, the doctor thought I was dead. It's time to go! I survived the choke, so yeah, it's it's always been in me fighting, so uh, it kind of chose me, I didn't choose it. Don't blink. There's no secret that I like to stand and uh, strike, but uh, I do have a ground game as well, just because you don't see it doesn't mean I'm not training it. What we need to do now, you feel yourself falling, you need an anchor. There's no favorites, the coaches are clear about that, but they're helping us still in the game planning for the fight. When he shoots, he's taking us, get out. So a lot of takedown defense. Of course, he's a highly accomplished ground fighter. That's where he wants to take the fight, but he's got to get me there first. Once he starts getting clipped, he doesn't go to what he's good at. He'll stay in the pocket and he'll trade as well, so I've just got to be smart. I know I'm technically more sound than this guy, so I've just got to show it. Something about Kai is he's really shy, Has kind of has a very monotone demeanor, but when he gets ready to fight, you'll see his eyes and you'll see him look down. He looks, he looks extremely evil, so he's ready to scrap. <laughs> In the past, I've doubted myself, my abilities, but um, I know what I'm capable of. I know why I'm here. Yeah, a confident man is a dangerous man. This is the name of the game. The name of the game is you may have to fight your partner. And in our instance, it's Alexandre versus Kai. These are two guys that we've coached, that we've been there for. And to see them fight, it's like, let the best man win. Gentlemen, welcome to the weighing. First to the scale, Kai Kara France. Kai absolutely crushed his first opponent, Terrence Mitchell, by getting a knockout in just 30 seconds in the first round. So. He should be going in this fight with a ton of confidence. And with his striking and Muay Thai skills, Kai's definitely going to go in there and, and be looking to knock him out. 126 pounds. <laughs> Next to the scale, Alejandre Pantoja. Alejandre is the number one seed, but he almost got upset by the number 16 seed, Brandon Moreno. So he shouldn't take anything for granted in this fight. 125 pounds. Alexandre loves to stand up and bang, so he's not gonna shy away from standing with Kai. But the key for him in this fight is to get this fight to the ground. Uh, he should have a big advantage with his jujitsu. I'm feeling pretty relaxed right now. All the work's done, so now it's just time to put on a show and uh, execute the game plan perfectly. I'm just looking right into it. Right inside. Hey. Straight over. I knocked someone out before with that. Okay. 
Eu já tenho bastante tempo de carreira, são quase 10 anos de, de que eu luto em MMA. Então, acredito que a minha experiência pode prevalecer e eu possa vencer esse combate com, com garra, coração e experiência na luta. I couldn't be in Pantoja's corner or Orkai. I just couldn't do it. I just didn't feel like it was ethical. So I told them both, I'm just gonna sit there, say nothing, and uh, and that's it. I'll be one step ahead. I'm gonna use his overly aggressive boxing and uh, I'll strike him. If he comes in with takedowns, I'm gonna stuff it. And uh, I'm gonna just put on a clinic. Oh. You release hell, right? What? You release hell, right? I don't speak English. That's all, I just say yeah. Yeah. Of course. Of course. I have a great adversary in front. I respect him, but I respect more my desire to win. I have to respect my family and that's why I fight. That's why I'm here. And that's why I have to win this fight. I have to win. Knowing that I get to represent my country when I fight and me walking through the doors and having the flag draped around my shoulders, I know it's going to be an amazing feeling and uh, I'm going to make my country proud. Pantoja, I hope you've been training hard. I know you're here for the right reasons. You're here to support your family. Uh, you're, you're a long way from home, but so am I. There's no emotion, it's just business. This is my goal, and um, you're in my way. Good luck. This fight is scheduled for two five-minute rounds. If after the second round, the judges have it a draw, we'll move to a sudden victory round. First round, fighter, are you ready? Fighter, are you ready? Let's fight! <laughs> You're defending the takedowns really good, but you're getting a little too cautious about going in. Okay, we gotta open up a little bit more. Okay, I can only manage three more. Three more. Let's go. Round five. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's fight. Levanta a guarda, Tony. Isso! Não, 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 não,
one starts and you can tell right away that Alessandre is looking to uh, neutralize Kai's stand-up. He shoots, gets Kai down on the ground, but Kai defends very well and he breaks away and lands some big shots. Alessandre gets Kai's back, and then Kai escapes. Then for the rest of the round, Alessandre surprisingly stands with Kai. This was Kai's chance to land some big punches, but both fighters didn't really do much of anything. It's almost as if Alessandre knew he'd won the round, and Kai was just too afraid to get taken down again. So in round two, Kai knows he's got to get more aggressive if he's going to win this fight. Don't rush in too much. So he tries to throw some bombs, but Alessandre countered very effectively with some of his kicks. And at the same time, Kai was able to defend Alessandre's takedowns. Good, now get back on him. So neither fighter really did much of anything. Winner by judge's decision, Alexandra. Oh! Kai é um lutador muito novo, muito experiente. Eu eu fiquei meio 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 cabreiro de ir para para trocação. Thank you guys. É, eu acredito que todos esses meus meus anos de experiência valeram muito nesse momento. I think it was a mental error. I was thinking about his ranking and uh, his weapons and my own game. So. Alright, brother. Keep yeah, your head up. Always evolving. Thanks, bro. On to the next year. It won't be the last you'll see of me. And uh, me and uh, Alexander will stay friends even after the show. After you share the cage with someone, you, you get that special bond with that person and it's, a, it's for a lifetime. That's what I love, love about the fight game. The friends you make along the way and the journey we take. Um, yeah, gotta love it. You guys bring it in. I know it's not easy, man, for you guys to, to fight each other, but you guys absolutely showed, showed what it's like to fight and fight smart and strategic. Uh, we're proud of both of you guys. We learn from our mistakes and we just continue to get better. Instead of becoming bitter after a loss, become better because of it. One, two, three, champion!